Hi, I'm Alex here from Doc365. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to create a meeting in Microsoft Teams. There are different ways from which you can do this, but I will show you the easiest way. So I'm in my Microsoft Teams desktop app right now. So uh, to create a quick meeting, all you need is to just click on the calendar option from the left side tab and uh, you will be taken to your calendar or Microsoft Teams calendar. From here, from the top, you can see two options, the meet now option and new meeting. So for instant meetings, all you need is to just click on the meet now option. So uh, it will ask you for a meeting name, just give a quick name. Just give discussion for now. So if you click on get a link to share, it will give you a quick link to the meeting you are about to uh, open up or click on start meeting and it will take you to the uh, next window which allows you to set up the audio and video setups instantly uh, click on join now uh, if you need to change the title anymore you can do it here or click on join now and you will be taken to the meeting room instantly so uh, yeah, this is the meeting room. Uh, you can copy this meeting link from here too and send it to your colleagues or anyone who you want to uh, attend the meeting through chat or, or any medium you want. So uh, the next step you want to do is to add new uh, participants. So uh, as you can see under the participants list, uh, type in name. Uh, I'll just add a few of my colleagues here. So I'm, I want to add Nitin here. So I'm clicking on request to join option right here. So he will join now. Yeah, he has uh, joined. And I would also like to uh, add Alna to this meeting. This is one of my other colleagues. So I will also add her the same way. So she will also be joining soon. Uh, I have muted the mic uh, as this is for the tutorial purpose, don't mind that. So uh, all of us are in the meeting right now. And uh, there are several other options. So uh, if you want any more options, you can just click on the ellipses at the top. There's a more actions button. And here you can uh, do as, uh, here you can access all these options, the meeting notes, uh, device settings, you can configure there. You can have the gallery at top, you can adjust the views, apply background if you want to uh, turn on the video. Uh, you can also start recording, transcription, uh, mute notifications. There are a lot of other uh, options. There is also an option for turn off the uh, incoming video. And uh, yeah, th these are some of the basic uh, options. There is also a sh sharing option if you want to share your screen. Uh, this is how you can do it. This is our option. So this is basically how you can quickly start a meeting. And uh, once you are done, uh, you can just uh, end the meeting here too. So this is the option for that. Just click on end to confirm and the meeting is over so that's how you can quickly start a meeting in uh, microsoft teams and uh, in case you want to schedule a meeting uh, you can do this here too uh, there is actually a few options to do that you can either schedule a meeting or you can uh, schedule a webinar or there is also a live event option so uh, the live event option is for giving a live uh, presentation or speech to your entire organization or for a very uh, large audience so we'll just schedule a meeting for now so just click on it and the new meeting window will open first thing you want to do is uh, set a category if there is any uh, there are different categories here you can also set a uh, time zone we'll just go for the specific time Set the desired uh, time zone first, and uh, you can also uh, set up the response options, uh, allow forwarding as well as request responses. And uh, 
we can uh, decide whether it requires a uh, registration for people in your organization or is it for everyone uh, there is none we have set up uh, none for now and the first thing after that is to give a title i will just give a marketing title to this uh, meeting and we can add uh, required attendees i am adding my colleagues here we can also add groups if you want so this is a very big group we have so uh, you can easily add all of the uh, group members here by choosing a uh, group and you can decide the date i am choosing the same date as today you can set the time and its duration and uh, if you want to repeat this uh, meeting every week or every month you can set that i'll just uh, go with the weekly option so i want this to happen this meeting to happen in every fridays so uh, i'm choosing uh, from uh, february 11th uh, every week friday this meeting will happen uh, you can decide it date to end the series if you wish uh, once it is set you can click on save so that the uh, options are uh, uh, now set up and you can choose a, a channel to which uh, this is linked i'm choosing the channel digital marketing team updates choose a channel you can set up a location if you prefer and uh, you can also decide and uh, give a description for this uh, meeting and uh, uh, once all these uh, once all these elements are set up you can click on send so that uh, these people will get a notification so just click on send and you can also see this event in your uh, calendar uh, let's see where it is so this is the meeting we just uh, uh, created. You can click on uh, edit the series or reference if you wish, or you can just click on join to meeting, uh, enter the meeting. You will get email notifications uh, before the meeting so that uh, you don't miss the meeting at any case. And uh, you can see the participants here as it is not time to for the meeting uh, there is no fast participants now uh, if you wish you can click on request to join to let them in at the current time so this is how uh, you can schedule a meeting and always make sure that you click on end meeting to end the meeting so that uh, meeting ends for uh, everyone so just click on cancel meeting from the top and uh, cancel series we can give a uh, reason why you are canceling the series. I'll just type in test and click on cancel series. So uh, the meeting will be now canceled. And you will also get a notification for that. So that's how you can uh, create uh, meetings in Microsoft Teams. Uh, hope you got a clear idea about how to start a meeting and set it up and add uh, participants and how to end it and all other options regarding the uh, meetings in Microsoft Teams. Uh, we'll see you with another interesting uh, tutorial video soon. Have a good day.